What's up YouTube? It's Onion Bomb here and welcome to my week 11 game predictions for the NFL. But before I predict the week 11 games, like I always do, I will go back to the week 10 ones and see which ones I got right and which ones I got wrong. Also taking a look at the record I went. As you see on screen, I did one of the best records I've ever done this season at 11 and 3 11 guesses being right and 3 guesses being wrong bringing the overall record to 77 and 54 that is really good i think the only really record i did better than that is when i started this week 2 and i got i went 12 and 4 right off the bat but kind of started to fall off a little bit and then i got back up and then i would fall off and of course we're at this week where I am back up once again. So let's see if we can keep that streak going. I hope I can. But let's get into these games. Uh, the Seahawks beat the Cardinals. I got that right. The Buccaneers beat the Jets. I got that wrong, which I get. I, I see that happening. Uh, the Saints blew out the, uh, well, not blew out, but they beat the Bills pretty heavily, 47-10. to 10. I got that right. The Lions beat the Browns. I got that. I got that right. Um, the Titans beat the Bengals. I got that right. The Packers, even without Aaron Rodgers, beat the Bears. I got that right. Which a lot of people had the Bears, and uh, but I, I got that right. Not many other people did, at least to my knowledge. Um, the Jaguars beat the Chargers. I got that right. The Vikings beat the Redskins. I got that right. <laughs> the Steelers. Barely beat the Colts. I got that right. Even though I was expecting that. That was very disappointing to see. But oh well. We got the win. Let's move on to next week. Uh, the Rams beat the Texans. I got that right. The 49ers beat the Giants. I got that wrong. Giving the 49ers the, their first win. Which that makes me mad. Because I definitely knew that, that was a game the 49ers could win but I just I just didn't put my faith in the 49ers so ah, that, I almost did pick them too but I decided against them but oh well what can you do I started I can't complain because I started a really good record but I did get that guess wrong uh the Falcons beat the Cowboys I got that wrong uh I guess Ezekiel Elliott really is a difference maker for the Cowboys uh the Patriots beat the Broncos. I got that I got that right. Um like I like I said in the last video, the Broncos had a quarterback and a little bit better offensive positions. Uh then that would have been a really, really good game and a pretty close one too. Um and then the Panthers beat the Dolphins. I got that right, and that adds up to eleven and three. So those were the week 10 games. Now, let's get to the week 11 games and what I predict who's going to win. Alright, so starting right off the bat with Thursday Night Football starts off right off the bat with the Steelers game. Because as you guys know, I'm a Steelers fan and I watch the Steelers game. So we have the Steelers and the Titans. And of course, I got the Steelers. And I know it does look like I'm biased, but I just think the Steelers are a really good team. They do they do suck against good like bad teams. Like some some bad teams they like just just barely get the win, like against the Colts and against the Browns. And some teams that are actually decent at uh, decent, uh, but like still like pretty like mediocre, like the Bears and the Jaguars, they lose to. But I think the Steelers will win this against the Titans. I don't think it's gonna be that pretty for the Steelers but I think it's not gonna be as ugly as the Colts game I think the Steelers could at least win this by a little bit more than a touchdown maybe a touchdown or in a field goal or two touchdowns or something I don't know but I think the Steelers will be winning this game so that's what I have for that the Titans are still good they're the best team in the AFC South in my eyes um uh, I know Jacksonville's all right, uh, too, but uh, that's not saying much with uh, the Texans and the Colts both not having their starting quarterbacks. But yeah, I think the Titans will still win their division, 
but they're just going to lose this game. But they're still going to have a couple win more wins down the road. All right, speaking of Jacksonville, we have the for the next game, the Jaguars and the Browns. Of course I have the Jaguars because the Browns just can't can't get a win. It looks like they gave the the Lions a game there for a little bit, but then the Lions blew it away. Um I just I think the Jaguars are going to do it. The Jaguars pretty good. Uh they're up there in the AFC South with the Titans. But I, I don't think they're going to quite win the division with the Titans. Maybe I'm wrong. I just personally think the Titans are going to win and the Jaguars are going to be under them. Uh, but yeah, I think the Jaguars are going to win this game. Though. All right, next up we have the Buccaneers and the Dolphins. I believe this is the rescheduled game from uh, week one um, because of Hurricane Harvey. Um I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Like, both of these teams are, I don't know, they're kind of been disappointing me <laughs> when I pick them. Just the Buccaneers just look a bit worse. Um, I do have both Mike Evans and Jarvis Landry on my fantasy team. So, if they could do something against each other, that would be pretty elite. Um, I just, I, th I have a feeling the Dolphins are going to win this one. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be one of those kind of pretty boring games, but, oh well, I think the Dolphins are winning it. Uh, next up, we have the Ravens and the Packers. Uh, I, I hope they lose this, but I'm still going to go with the Ravens just because I don't think they will. Uh, I, the Packers, they're, they're not going to win this game Without Aaron Rodgers, with Aaron Rodgers, 100% Packers. But without, I think the Ravens are going to win this. Just, I hate to say it, but the Ravens defense is actually pretty good. Uh, so, I th I think they're going to win this. Uh, may I The Packers could do this without Aaron Rodgers. It's not impossible, but I think the Ravens will. But if they don't, I don't care. I'll, t I'll, take, that, I'll take that prediction getting wrong because I want the Ravens to do as poorly as possible. All right, next up, Lions and Bears. I'm going with the Lions. The Lions, they were struggling a little bit against the Browns. Not really struggling there because uh, I, I saw at one point they were up 24 to 24. Not up, but like they were at 24-24. Um, but And then, of course, you know, the final score was 38-24. So they came back with it. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, the Bears, they... Haven't really been doing anything much lately, at least to my notice. They just lost to Aaron Rodgers Packers, so I think the Lions are going to win this. They just seem like the better team to me. And I am still sad that the Steelers lost to the Bears. Alright, next up, the Rams and the Vikings. Two teams that were are pretty surprising this season. Uh, Rams are pretty like, younger, uh, but... The Vikings are somehow doing something with Case Keenum, which is pretty surprising. Uh, but I'm going with the Rams. The Rams just look more elite than the Vikings, even though the Vikings are still pretty decent and they're still pretty surprising. I think the Rams are going to do this. They just look pretty. They just look too good. Um, they just came off a win against the Texans. However, J Deshaun Watson is out. So I think they can definitely do this one. All right, next up, speaking of the Texans, without Deshaun Watson, we have the Cardinals and the Texans. And I'm picking the Cardinals for the reason that the Texans don't have Deshaun Watson. All right, the, both of these teams aren't the best. Uh, the Cardinals, <laughs> I know, I, I, I've been saying this for like three or four weeks now. I do not know if Carson Palmer's in. I think Carson Palmer isn't injured. I think he's... Actually, I think he is injured. I, I don't know. He may or may not be injured. Uh, just the Texans have not been doing good without Deshaun Watson and all. They lost to the Colts and they lost to the Rams. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Cardinals here. Uh, yeah, Cardinals will win this. All right, next up, probably the easiest one to guess here. It's the Chiefs and the Giants. And, of course, I got the Chiefs. Because the Giants just lost to the 49ers to get them their first win. And the Chiefs were originally the only undefeated team. They have fallen a little bit from that. 
In fact, they're not. They're nowhere near the best record anymore. But I do think the Chiefs will win this one with ease. All right, next up, the Redskins and the Saints. I have the Saints. The Saints have been looking elite lately. The Redskins are all right. I mean, they had some surprising victories. They also had some, you know, expected losses. But I just think the Saints are looking really, really, really good right now. And they're not going to choke and lose to the Redskins. Even though I guess they could, but I just don't see it. But, you know, greater upsets have happened. But I'm, I'm going with the Saints on this one. It just seems like the easier choice to pick. Okay, so next up, I have no idea why this is so hard for me, but I just can't pick this one. I'm still not certain. It's the Bills and the Chargers. Part of me wants to say the Bills are going to come back from, like, I think a two-loss streak. I won against the Jets and the other one against the Saints. Um, and the other part of me wants to say the Chargers are going to kind of, like, upset the Bills. And they're going to get a win here. I I don't. At first I was going to say the Chargers. And I was like. Nah. I don't think the Bills are going to win. And I, I, don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the Chargers. Just because I think I am. I was expecting to do that all week. I'm, I'm still not feeling good about that though. I, I'm going with the Chargers. I, I've always said I'm going with the Chargers. So that's the one I'm picking. The Bills could 100% do this. This could 100% go either way. This was my hardest game to pick this week for some reason. But I, I'm i going with the Chargers. No particular reason. Either team could win this. I, I could see it either way. Uh, but I'm just going with the Chargers because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. And that's what I was feeling prior to the video. Alright, next up, the Bengals and the Broncos. I'm going with the Broncos. Uh, uh, the Broncos have not been looking good lately. Um, they just, they're just having some quarterback issues. I think, I don't think Trevor Simeon was doing that bad. And I don't think Brock Osweiler is the answer to by any means. They just, their defense is still elite, but the offense is not. Why do why do I think they're gonna win this game? I don't know because it's the Bengals. So they just the Bengals just look worse. I just I think they're gonna win this against the Bengals. But other than this game, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> it depends on their other games and their schedule. But they might not be winning too much more after this. Um, I but I think the defense can get get the job done here. It's definitely gonna be more on the defensive side, the victory more than offensive side, but. I think the Broncos can get this done, and I hope they do, because like I said, I'm a Steelers fan. I want the Bengals to struggle, too. I want the Bengals and Ravens to struggle. The Browns, you know, they, we don't even need to worry about them. They'll struggle struggle either way. All right, next one's a, a really interesting one. I think this is going to be a good game. It's the Patriots and the Raiders. And I'm going to go with the Raiders. And why... The Raiders have been hyped up definitely before the season start during uh, during the preseason, which they kind of uh, uh, they were up to expectations, but then they weren't, and then they kind of had some points where they were and not. They're just they're a little bit tossy here, and then De Derek Carr got injured. I think they're gonna upset the Patriots here. I, like I said though, <laughs> I could just be biased here. I'm not. The Patriots are still really good this season. I know I've been saying in previous predictions that like, oh, they don't, they're not looking as good as normal years. But I don't know. Just to me, they're just, even though they're still seven and two, like they still don't seem like that, like the the team they were last year. They seemed like more elite last year. I I don't know. Um, I think they lost to their Chiefs. They lost to the Panthers. I think they can lose to the Raiders here. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, this is probably the last game I'll go against the Patriots. I think I, when I went against the Patriots for the Falcons game, for the Super Bowl 51 rematch, and I'm going against the Patriots now. Um, so I think this is probably my last game of going against the Patriots. Uh, so, maybe... The Raiders can make it count. I don't know. Hopefully. Alright. 
Last Sunday game, Eagles and Cowboys. I have the Eagles. Eagles have been on fire. Cowboys are missing Ezekiel Elliott. The Cowboys could have done this with Ezekiel Elliott, but I think without Ezekiel Elliott, that's going to hurt them very much. I, You know, I, just, I don't actually know if he's going to be playing or not. I think he's still going to be on suspension, but I... I'm actually not sure. I think he's finally serving it, but I don't know. Regardless, I think the Eagles are going to win. They have just been too, like, unstoppable and, and like, record-wise and power ranking-wise and everyone hyping him up-wise. They, like, look like the best team in the league. But, oh, that would be a game. The Eagles and the Patriots? That, that would be a game. I wish that was being played this season. I think the Eagles are going to win this game against the Cowboys. And then Monday Night Football, a really, really good matchup. The Falcons and the Seahawks. I had to think about this one, too. But I'm going with the Falcons just because the uh, the Seahawks have had some offensive struggles lately. Even though the Falcons have had some uh, strong struggles, too. I, just, I don't know. I feel like the Falcons are going to win this. Uh, it's going to be a good game, a close one. I'm just going with the Falcons just... Honestly, just because either this is like the Bills and Chargers game again, like either team could go to it. I'm just going for the Falcons because only it wasn't really that much harder. Just because I I don't know. I feel like the Falcons surprised me last last week with their victory over the Cowboys. I think they can do it again. So those are my game predictions for week number eleven of the NFL. I'm going to go back through them real quick here and recap them. I have the Steelers being the Titans, the Jaguars being the Browns, the Dolphins being the Buccaneers, the Ravens being the Packers, the Lions being the Bears, the Ravens being the Vikings, the Cardinals being the Texans, the Chiefs beating the Giants, the Saints beating the Redskins, the Chargers being the Bills, the Broncos being the Bengals, the Raiders beating the Patriots, the Eagles being the Fa- the Ka- ah, Cowboys. I told you every time I have to mess up on that when I'm doing this. I was so close to it. I have one game left. I have the Falcons being the Seahawks. But every time I recap it, I always like mess up and jumble up. Anyway, guys, those are my predictions if you want to see how i do make sure to check out the week 12 predictions because like i did with week 10 this week i will be recapping how i did week 11 for next week for week 12 and of course after i will have my week 12 predictions so that all being said thank you guys so much for watching like or dislike subscribe or don't subscribe you know it's always up to you and i'll see you guys in the next video you watch of me good bye